Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bright Moon LLC. My name is Carly and I wanted to get straight into it. I want to talk about the, the importance of um, dispatching your driver properly. And this is what I mean by the importance of dispatching your driver properly. I've been on a ride along with my partner this week and I wanted to kind of show y'all some of the things that they uh, have to go through as drivers and um, some of the things that can happen if you don't properly dispatch your driver. I wanted to show y'all what we had to go through because it's, this video is going to be a little bit different because it's kind of vlog style, but I want to show you exactly what happened. Um, one of the things that you should be doing to dispatch your drivers properly be one step ahead of the game because it's, I don't like high stress situations. I don't like high stress situations. And let me tell you as a driver, what a high stress situation is pulling up to your appointment and they don't look, it looks like semi trucks don't even belong here like you turning down streets that is not semi truck friendly like there's no place for you to deliver to and as a dispatcher that becomes high stress for you because you're like what do i do i'm all the way over here it, it's kind of nerve-wracking so i like to be one step ahead of the game so when i get my rate confirmation sent back to me from the broker what i'll do is i'll pop that information that uh address to the warehouse i'll pop that into google and sometimes if, if I can do it, I'll walk around and look. And this is just me as a driver. This is one of the things that could probably set you apart as a dispatcher. But I pop that address into Google and I walk around and I make sure it's a truck friendly place. The, is this the right address? Because sometimes they'll give you an address and it'll look like it's in the middle of the street. I have been there as a driver. That is so nerve wracking. As a driver though, that is your responsibility to kind of case the joint. If you get there early, and they don't allow you to deliver early just go you know if you have time on your clock drive around and see uh what it's looking like over there but dispatchers this is how you can stand out i did not do this because i was on a truck and distracted but i'm glad we actually drove by the place a day early and it was some kind of convention center downtown san francisco it was called uh moscone travel center it was downtown san francisco and The streets were skinny, it was people everywhere. It was just crazy, so nerve wracking. And I'm glad we went there a day before. And when we went there, I'm like, it, trucks can't deliver here. Like this is not truck friendly at all. So I reached out to the broker and I was like, hey, um, so we just drove by and this place doesn't look truck friendly at all. Like, is this, are you sure this is the correct address? And I'm glad we did that because um, it was not the correct address. And I would have known this and I would have known that had I popped it into Google my mistake so um, they ended up sending us somewhere else to check in and wait and then they sent us to some kind of underground tunnel now had I known that this was an underground tunnel I would have never put a driver through that I would have never had I dispatched them properly we wouldn't have been here but take a look at this just look 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 at the stuff that we had to go through. All right, so here we got to the end. They wanted us to turn at the blue dock. They needed us to go to the blue dock so we could get loaded. As you can see, the blue dock is to the left, and um, this is where they really had us turn into. <laughs> y'all, I feel like I'm in GTA. Oh, if I was driving this truck still, y'all, I would be having a heart attack right now. This is a super trucker right here. We're supposed to back up here. And as you can see, it's kind of tight. Um, so this is what we're dealing with. This is why you got to make sure uh, you're dispatching your driver properly. Right there to the left of that yellow pole is where we're supposed to back up. And when we leave, we're actually supposed to turn right over here and um, turn left at the end of that hallway down there.
Okay, so now we loaded it and ready to go. Um, the, yellow, the dude in the yellow forklift just loaded us. So now it's time to get out of here. The driver has to turn these tight corners with this. Uh, I don't know why they make it so hard with all these trucks and all these cars parked down here unnecessarily. But we're turning around this corner right here. It's kind of low. Y'all see we got to move slow. So as you can see to the right is where we came in and this is how we get out to the left over here. So look how tight we are. Look how close we are to the wall. When I zoom in here, you can see how much space we do not have. <laughs> I just added this clip to show you we're still trying to get out of here but i just wanted to show you what it looked like at the bottom of a convention center it's pretty cool we have to turn around this tight corner to get out still trying to get out to the exit okay so i just want to say we made it out safely a lot of drivers do not they showed us pictures when we pulled up of damaged trailers and everything. So we made it out safely and yeah, enjoy the views. Thank <laughs> you.